Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadhar Sri Vasudhi Gaur Bhakta Vinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare Hare um, Can you give me access to share screening? I would like to share something on the screen. Yes, good how much. Do I, how do I do that? Do I first bring... Do I first bring up the text or do I wait for the share screening to come on first? No, Guru Maharaj. First, you open the document uh, which you want to share in the in your computer. After that, you click on share screen and then you select. Okay. You, uh, you come to the Zoom meeting and uh, click on the share screen. Okay, the now, where is the share screen? It's flashing here? Mm. No. No, Where, when you come to the Zoom. I have to go back to Zoom. Yes, Guru Maharaj. And in this green uh, green button will be there, share screen. You will see in the bottom. Okay. Uh, and you click there on you that. go. You can and select which one you want to share. Yeah. There you yes, go. We are able can to you, see. Can yes. you see it? Yes, yes Guru Maharaj, yes. Okay. So today is the appearance day of Sri Vrindavan Das Thakur who is the author of Chaitanya Bhagavat, who's known as the personality <clears throat> who, who brought Krishna's, Lord Chaitanya's pastimes into the world. <clears throat> He's called the father of Lord Chaitanya's pastimes. <clears throat> Chaitanya Bhagavat is a glorification of the pastimes of Lord Chaitanya and with a good amount of emphasis on Lord Nityananda's pastimes also. So I'm just going to go through these different slides here. Just give you a little bit um, without reading all of these things. I can read. His mother's name was Narayani and she was the daughter of Srivastakor's brother. Narayani was only four years old when Lord Chaitanya revealed his divinity in the house of Srivas. <clears throat> Although she was four, she became mad with love of God and crying. She said, oh, Krishna, and she swooned in ecstasy. The Lord had told her to chant Krishna's names, and she went into ecstasy. Narayani's Devi son was Vrindavan Das Thakur. It is written in the Chaitanya Bhagavan how Narayani was the pet object of Lord, Ch Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's affection. She would get whatever remnants the Lord might leave after eating. Although she was only an unschooled little girl, the Lord would favor Srivas Thakur's niece by giving her the leftovers of food touched by his holy lips. Indeed, it was by the mercy of Lord Chaitanya that Vrindavan Das Thakur took birth in the womb of Narayani. And that's mentioned again. He's considered to be the literary incarnation of Krishna Daipayana Vyas. Veda Vyas wrote the Vedas, and Vrindavan Das Thakur wrote, he wrote Chaitanya. Mangala was the, pre the previous name, but since Chaitanya Mangala was already known by uh, Lochan Das Thakur, he wrote Chaitanya Bhagavat. <clears throat> He changed it after the Chaitanya Bhagavat. He took initiation from Lord Nityananda when he was 16 and went preaching in the district of Burdan. He, he never personally saw Lord Chaitanya.
So here's some pictures of his birthplace. This is called Baya Salvatara. This is in a place called Mamgachi. Mamgachi is in the area of Navadweep. And when we each year do our Navadweep Mandala Parikram, we always spend one day or a part of a day at Mamgachi and we visit this holy place. This is See here we need some. So here you can see these are some of these are the deities that he worshipped. These deities were on the left side. There you see Gornitai <clears throat> worshipped by Vrindavan Das Thakur. Later on the right side, these Radha and Krishna deities were installed by Shiva Bhakti and Siddhanta Saraswati. Like that. And here they are again with a better close-up. <clears throat> yeah. Very, very attractive deities. This is a little, this is part of the Navadvi Mandala Parikram. We stop at this place and we give lectures here. And you can see there's Lokana Swami is here and the Sringa Maharaj is here. Bhakti Siddhanta, Saras, Bhakti Siddhanta Maharaj is also here and others. I've also been there at this time for that Parikram. These are all devotees in our movement. And this is a beautiful song written by Vrindavan Das Thakur called Nache Re, Nache Re, Nitta Gaur Gunamaniya. Yeah, it's seven verses. Nittai and Gora, Gunamani, are dancing and dancing with beloved Gadadhar on their left and Srivas and Advaita on the right, their associates defeat the stars that surround the Gota moon. The Murdangas and Kartals are played and sweet songs are sung. The sky is filled with the chanting of Hariyam. His body is anointed with sandalwood paste and drops of holy juice and the forest flower garland dangles nicely across his chest. A white Brahmin thread hangs across his neck. His form defeats millions of cupids and ankle bells jingle on his feet. The two brothers are dancing and their associates sing while the Dadhar's body is pelted with powder. Now the Lord re-manifests his previous joyful Vrindavan pastimes in this Nadia. Now he enjoys on the bank of the Ganga, which is just, just like in Vrindavan Dira Samaj Kun, Vrindavan Das tells you, for he knows it. And he gives some directions here. And so this is pretty much the end here. You get a little insight of the holy place of his birth and the deities that he worshiped. Okay, so that's a little bit about today's uh, Vrindavan Das Thakur. Srila Prabhupada chose Chaitanya Charitamrita by uh, Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami as the book to be the book that we learn about Lord Chaitanya from. Although since then, Chaitanya Bhagavad has been translated by at least three or four different devotees in our ISKCON society. 
The reason why Prabhupada chose Chaitanya Charitamrita is a couple of reasons. One is that there is more emphasis on Chaitanya Charitamrita on Lord Chaitanya than there is in Chaitanya Bhagavad. In Chaitanya Bhagavad, there is a lot of emphasis, of course, on Lord Chaitanya. It's not minimized, but he also gives equal amount of time to Lord Nityananda because that's his worshipful Lord. He is a disciple of Lord Nityananda. And the other reason is Chaitanya Charitamrita is uh, more uh, tattva, whereas Vrindavan Das Thakur's Chaitanya Bhagavad is more lila. There's lila and tattva in both, but mostly Bhagavad has more lila than tattva. And in Chaitanya Charitamrita, you have a nice balance. And Krishna, Prabhupada knew that our, our devotees needed to hear more of the philosophy along with the lilas. And you'll find that there's a lot of references to Srimad Bhagavatam verses in Chaitanya Charitamrita. So Prabhupada chose that scripture. And that was also the scripture his Guru Maharaj uh, also wrote a commentary on. So Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati did um, Chaitanya, uh, Chaitanya Bhagavan. And Lord Chaitanya and Prabhupada did Chaitanya Charitamrita. So that was another reason not to somehow or other try to outdo his own spiritual master by doing the Chaitanya Bhagavad Prabhupada also chose Chaitanya Charitamrita. And that's the etiquette. If your guru has done a, a tika or a katika on a particular scripture, you may highlight that tika by pointing out the different uh, uh, principles that was highlighted by your Guru Maharaj. One should not try to overshadow the previous Acharya by trying to do something better than he did in the same scripture. So Prabhupada therefore pick Chaitanya. Points on Vrindavan is not so much mentioned in any scriptures. But his mother was a great, was a favorite of Lord Chaitanya when she was just a little girl. Okay, so I'll. Uh, Conclude there. If there's anyone who would like to speak something, please go ahead. Or Hare Krishna Maharaj, thank you so much, Maharaj, for enlightening us on this topic today. The appearance of Indan Das and thank you for sharing. The document and showing us all the pictures. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Mm -hmm. If what is are there any questions, comments, please go ahead, Maharaj. Guru Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances on glories to Srila Prabhupada, on glories to you, Guru Maharaj. In the lecture, Guru Maharaj, you said that uh, he never personally met Lord Chaitanya. Uh, is there any description how that happened or why that happened? Uh, though he was disciple of Lord Nityananda, how he never met Lord Chaitanya? Uh. Um, let's see, I'm not sure what year his birth came. 
Mm-hmm. Let's see. I'll uh, I'll give you the year. Once I give you the year, that will help. Well, it says he was born in, let's see, he was born in 1507 AD. And Lord Satanya left in 1534. So that means that was, he was 27 years old. <laughs> I can't really say. All I can say is possibly that he wasn't, he was just not in the same place when Lord Chaitanya was wherever he was. Okay, Guru Maharaj, thank you. He was, uh, he, he produced his Chaitanya Bhagavat one year after Lord Chaitanya left. Yeah, I don't have a clear answer for that. Okay. Oh, Maharaj, is it okay if I ask a small question? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Maharaj, I was just curious to know who Vrindavan Das Thakur was in Krishna Leela. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Mm, so some, sometimes it says he's an incarnation of Vyasa. Thank you, Maharaj. Let me check again. Yeah, okay. It says here, Veda Vyas became Vrindavan Das Thakur and Krishna's cowherd from Kusumapida also entered into him 
for the sake of the Lord's pastimes. That's for Gora Deonadeshti Pika. So he was a Vedavyas, the author of the Vedas. And again, with the element of Krishna's friend Kusuma Pita. Okay, thank you, Maharaj. Thank you. Uh, Maharaj, uh, uh, Raghu Prabhuji wants to ask a question in the end, but it is not related to the class. Yeah, that's okay. Okay. Prabhuji, would you like to go ahead? Um, Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj. Uh, is it okay to ask now? Please. <laughs> Uh, Krishna Guru Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances, all glory to Shah Prabhupada, all glory to you. Um, so my question is actually coming from my mother-in-law um, in from Botswana. <laughs> so um, recently, uh, one of the congregation members passed away, and a lot of the congregation was coming together, they were chanting together, they were um, doing the Shinga Kavach every day um, in order for him to to um, recover and unfortunately he passed and um, following that a lot of um, people came to her and said look we prayed to Krishna Balaram uh, we wanted him to live and um, look what they've done look what Krishna has done and um, she was kind of struggling to uh, respond um, with sensitivity around it all because everybody was so emotional um, so she asked me to ask you what what would you suggest to say in response in situations like this? We can't see the whole picture. Why have things happen? We see our, we see from our perspective and we try to fit our perspective in as being the perspective. There's always much more to what you can see why something as a birth or a death happens. Ultimately, everything is under the hands of the Lord. And there's a reason why everything happens. Um, if we force our own ideas onto the Lord and expect that to be the means by which we understand things, then we don't, we're, we're putting ourselves in the position of thinking we know better than the Lord. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, who said the Lord has a different reason? You know, sometimes people are suffering in this life and they're a devotee, so he, he takes them out of that suffering condition, puts them in a, a better position in the next life. Mm. Sometimes he wants to take them back to Godhead, or sometimes they, they're, uh, you know, they're under the influence of the material energy and karma is working accordingly. It depends whether it's a devotee or a non-devotee. This person was a devotee? Um, he, he used to, I mean, he, he didn't, he wasn't um, chanting 16 rounds, but he used to come to the temple and do, I'm sorry, Sri Radha's just in the background. Um, he used to come to the temple and serve um, every week. Um, and he'd been a congregation member for many years. Obviously, because he did some service and he associated with the devotees, he, and he also did some chanting, and his next destination is uh, auspicious. Yeah, they, I mean, the funeral was today, and I think they even passed, um, the body well, passed. You know, I mean, we have the same, we have that same situation. I mean, how many people prayed for Bhakti Charu Maharaj to stay with yeah. us? The Lord has a the Lord has his plan. Yeah. And I open it. Prabhupada also taught us that you know when we pray to the Lord, we should pray to the Lord giving deference to his plan over our desire. 
we express our desire, but we defer to the Lord as being the ultimate uh, and not the ultimate principle on how things go on. Whatever the Lord wants, it will happen, either directly or indirectly through the material energy or directly through the spiritual energy. So people who, who become angry with God, you know, Prabhupada talks about that, how the mothers, the sisters, the wives of the soldiers in wartime in the Second World War were praying for their husbands, brothers, uh, their uh, fathers to come back, but they didn't come back. And so they, be, they became atheists. They gave up God. Mm -hmm. Because God, God is not, you know, our order supplier. Mm. We're looking at it from our perspective, and we're also seeing, you know, this is what we want. And our prayer, we, in other words, we we think that our prayer is what Krishna should follow. He considers that he takes it into account, but Krishna can see everything. He doesn't see just a limited amount of what we see. He sees the whole picture. And unless you understand that Krishna does good for everyone, you'll be confused by way, the way things happen. He always acts for everyone's benefit, but the benefit is not by some material determined uh, outcome. We were thinking, oh, if he lives, that's the best thing. Maybe Krishna's thinking, no, if he gets another body in a better situation, maybe that's the best thing. So how can we, we try to second guess the Lord rather mm -hmm. than defer our prayers to the Lord's final decision? And Prabhupada taught us to pray like that. My dear Lord, if you so desire, please cure my friend, my brother, if you so desire. Prabhupada told you, you can't tell Krishna what to do. Mm. He knows more than you. <laughs> he knows what's best for everyone. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. I think, I think what upset her the most is a few of the congregation members, they they were, they were saying we had so much faith in Krishna Balaram. And then after that, she was, she was to, the lady started to talk about some new Indian guru, like, a, you know, one of these miracle workers. And then she was saying we should have just been praying to him instead. And um, yeah, my mother-in-law obviously corrected her, but she was just saying it's difficult to, to, to respond to that. But thank you for your... Thank you for your um, words. How many, pe how many people pray for people who don't, who don't stay? That happens all the time. Mm. Oh. There's too many factors involved, and just our prayers is the only thing that will, will, you know, God should do what we pray for. And God is your order supplier. He's not God. He's just your your storekeeper down the block your prayer is your merch is your money and what he gives you back in the, in the form of your request is uh, is the merchandise so it becomes a business arrangement but that's not how god works okay thank you very much because they don't have any faith. They have no knowledge. They have no faith. Mm. Uh, what does the baby do? Um, potentially soon, very much. I, I was planning on messaging you to to um, update you, so I'll I'll message you privately. Okay, good. 
Yeah, my best wishes to the mother and the child. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Hare, thank you. Dear devotees, is there any other question or comment or any realization? Is there are no questions or comments? Uh, okay. Uh, Maharaj, with your permission, then we can uh, depart until tomorrow. Okay. Thank you very much. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. My obeisances to all the devotees. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Hare Ram. Thank you, Guru Maharaj, Hare Krishna. Thank you so much, Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Guru Maharaj.